Now it's time for another Board Game Brawl preview with Nick Meenahan, sponsored by BoardGameBliss.com. Hey peeps, today we're going to take a look at Betabots from the company Zagar Games. It is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter. You can actually follow the link in the top corner of your screen as well as down in the description section underneath this video if you want to find out more information about Betabots than I can possibly tell you here. The campaign is ongoing right now. So, what is Betabots? It is a competitive game for three to six players. It's a bidding game where you are trying to build up a robot. First you have to acquire a robot. Then you have to actually uh, give a component upgrades. You have temporary boosts that you can give it as well, all in service of sending it on missions in order to get the most bits, which are sort of the currency of this game, but also, which, which you use for bidding, but also the victory points of the game. So that is your ultimate goal is to have a huge pile of those at the end. Let me go ahead and give you a brief look at how the game is played with a prototype version of the game. You'll know that right away when you see it, so please just keep that in mind. You can go to the official Kickstarter project page to get a better idea of what the final version will look like. Uh, but then we're going to come back. I'll give you my final thoughts. Betabots is a competitive bidding game for 3-6 to six players. The goal of the game is to be the player with the most bits at the end. The game ends when the players have gone through 10 missions and given out the special rewards. To set up the game, every player starts with 3 code cards, which I'll explain a bit later. 40 bits, which are represented here in the prototype by different denominations of poker chips, a bidding marker, and a mat in their color. Someone, either randomly or by age, will get the starter chip, here in the prototype indicated by the dealer chip. This chip will rotate to the next player clockwise after every bid in the game. Code cards and component cards are just shuffled up, but you need to set up the mission card deck. Depending on the number of players, you take a certain number of Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3 cards, shuffle them separately, then stack them so that the ones are on top. Betabots is played out in phases. In the very first round, and only in the first round, there's a special Phase 0, where players will bid for the robot that they will use for the duration of the game. Robots have four stats, Agility, Firepower, Structure, and Processor. These will be crucial for completing missions and getting bits, but you will be able to both permanently and temporarily alter these stats during the course of the game. A number of robot cards equal to the number of players are laid out, and players place bids in order starting with whoever has the starter chip. Place your colored bidding marker on top of your bits to indicate that it's your bid. Every robot has a minimum bid, but there is no maximum bid. If someone outbids you, you take your bits back, and when your turn comes back around, you must either outbid that person or you simply bid on another robot. The phase ends when everyone has a bid on a robot, pays their bits, and takes the robot and puts it in front of them. In phase one, you can build up your robot. Take a number of random component cards equal to the number of players minus one and lay them out. Components are attached to robots and give permanent boosts to attributes. A robot can have a maximum of 5 components. If any attribute hits 13 or above, the robot is immediately eligible to take one of two mobilization cards for that attribute. These have dramatic and permanent effects, like giving stat boosts, increasing capacity, and so on, so long as that stat remains at 13 or higher. Bidding in the component phase works exactly like in phase 0, with one important exception. On a player's turn, they may opt out of bidding and instead draw a code card. If they do so, they are out of the bidding for the rest of this phase and they won't be able to get a component. Code cards are one-time use special effects. You can have a maximum of four of them in your hand at a time, and they can only be used during phase 2, the mission phase. They have varied effects, everything from causing you to immediately gain bits, to causing your opponents to lose bits, to temporarily increasing your robot attributes, or even canceling out other code cards. Moving on to that phase that I just mentioned, the mission phase is where you send your upgraded robot on missions to get a large amount of bits all at once. A mission is flipped off the top of the deck, and each player then decides whether to attempt it by themselves or by teaming up with other players. If alone, your robot must meet the attribute requirements of the mission in order to succeed and will fully gain any reward for success or penalty for failure. If two or more players team up, they get to add all of their attributes together to meet the mission requirements, but they will also have to split the rewards while taking penalties individually. Once the mission is resolved, you start back to phase one and repeat the entire thing until the entire mission deck runs out. 
Before adding up your bits at the end, special rewards are given out in the form of more bits for the player who has the single highest attribute, the most gold colored component cards, and the most colored code cards in hand. Whoever has the most bits after all of this is the winner of the game. That's Betabots. Now on to my final thoughts. There are many games based off of the premise that robots are either battling it out or uh, trying to get to some sort of goal. And if you think of games like uh, Robo Rally or uh, Volt and things like that, but Betabots decides to go in a different direction that's very interesting by having this not about just like sending your robot off and random like punch into other things, but you're going out on these missions. In order to do that, you just need to make the best robot possible. Uh, so in this case, the combat in the game takes place with bidding, which is a very interesting way to go about it so the game still feels thematic because you are upgrading your robot you're putting different components on them you're putting in new code and programs via the code cards in order to temporarily boost them up and to uh, sort of improve your strategic options uh, but at the same time what it leads to is just you trying to send that robot out on missions to do the best that you possibly can and in this case getting as many bits as you possibly can and you need to be very careful with those bits because you have to spend them during the course of the game to actually you know make your robot but better or else you won't do be uh, very well during the, some of the, the later missions which are incredibly important to win if you want to win the game but at the same time there are your victory points so this is like uh, what I call the five tribes conundrum, conundrum which is the, the best example I can think of even though these games are nothing alike but <laughs> you are using your victory points during the course of the game essentially to get yourself ahead so how much is too much i mean what are you willing to sacrifice in order to get the best robot in the beginning but then to have the best components later on um and what are you what are you willing to sacrifice as far as not getting components in order to get code cards which while temporary might be better for us uh, as a strategic move for that particular round so while the game is very simple to teach very as you can probably tell from that short overview but um and also very simple to get into you know a very easy learning curve at the same time there is strategy here because you, you have decisions which is the most important thing in the game you have many decisions during the course of the game as a matter of fact but i i believe without it feeling too overwhelming so uh, i think this game is going to appeal to people who like the idea of <laughs> taking robots on missions people who like bidding games and auction games which there are many people out there who are like that and just people who want something a little bit different for their robot themed game and something they can play with casual players, young players, and so on. If you fall into any of those categories, definitely go to the Kickstarter page because you don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to take the word of any of the information that I have here. You can find out even more information there. Lots of oodles of information there and find out for yourself. There will be a link up in the top corner of your screen as well as down in the description section underneath the video. Those links will take you to the page. Find out more and hopefully you'll consider backing the project. That is Betabots from Zagar Games. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And make sure to check out our sponsor, Board Game Bliss, where you can find an amazing selection of games from around the world. BoardGameBliss.com. Thanks for your support.